I don't get know, to I play with people's life yeah. and then determine how they respond. Mm-hmm. That's not how life works. You make your decision, but you don't get to pick your consequence. Mace just put Diddy on blast. The former bad boy rapper didn't hold back, confirming that all of Cassie's shocking allegations about Diddy's misconduct are 100% true, from horrifying physical mistreatment to twisted parties. Remember when Beyonce and her sister Solange found out that Jay-Z cheated on her at the Met Gala? So Solange jumped on him and slapped him in the elevator. That proud look on Beyonce's face was everything. We may never understand why Beyonce still stayed with him. But well, I guess he is a changed man now. But you being around it, you knowing him, you think he's capable of raping a female man? Bruh, yo, uh, he's capable of doing what Cassie said he did. Cassie said she he raped her. You understand? Against her will. She won a lawsuit that he raped her against her will. Mace has publicly spoken about the need to escape from Diddy, which he claims led to his early retirement from rap. You know what I'm saying? We can't say that on television, man, or on, on, on the internet or YouTube, but any man who saw that wish they could put their hands on Diddy at that time, bro. That shit was appalling, bro. It was crazy, man. And when I saw it, you know, I could imagine what Kim went through. I could imagine what Misa went through. You understand? It was just crazy, man, for that dude to do that to that girl like that, man. He hinted at dark and disturbing experiences within Diddy's circle, and though he has yet to directly address the shocking allegations Cassie made, he suggested that his withdrawal from Diddy's influence may have spared him similar suffering. You're not paying me and you're not respecting me. And that's the real problem. Did you, did you, did, did, did. all right. And that's just that's just that's just the beginning. All right, then go is ahead. then is people that try to do bodily harm with me. They will be in the house with Puff. So I'm like, it's a funny game y'all playing behind the scenes. So when people see me, they just see me turned up. They just see me agitated. They just see me aggressive, but they don't know why. So if somebody let's just say we run down on Gilly Car, we if we got guns or whatever where we got them and we trap gilly and then the next week you see wallow with me at your house how are you gonna feel yeah i'm snapping out you tweaking right, right. So now my head is bugging like what's really going on? Because the Hotel Hallway footage of Diddy mistreating Cassie is one of the most shocking pieces of evidence tied to her misconduct allegations. I wanted to clear right here over these digital airwaves of YouTube that the career of Sean P. Diddy Combs, as we know it, it's over. This shit is over. It's over in the worst possible way, one of the worst possible ways you can imagine. These are the latest developments, okay? Exclusive surveillance video obtained by CNN appears to show the music mogul assaulting his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura at a hotel in 2016. The incident, which took place in March 2016 at a Los Angeles hotel, is captured in security camera footage that shows Diddy physically attacking Cassie. In the video, Combs can be seen striking and kicking Ventura as she tried to leave. I have the video right in front of me. We can't show it to you. We can't show it to you. But I'm watching this with the sound off as we speak. She's walking down the hallway in a hoodie, y'all, clearly trying to sneak out of the hotel room. We see him come sprinting down the hallway in just a towel. That's it. According to both Cassie's lawsuit and multiple reports, Diddy punched Cassie in the face, giving her a black eye. As she attempted to escape, Diddy followed her into the hallway, where he threw glass vases at her, shattering them across the corridor. He goes up to her. He snatches her by the neck, yanks her to the ground. She lays there still. Okay, I'm looking at the video. I'm looking at the video while I'm talking to you. He snatches her by the neck, unless this is some lookalike, unless it's just some clone, unless this is somebody that, 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 that's like from Mission Impossible, like Tom Cruise, wearing somebody else's face, looking exactly like them when it ain't them at all. Unless there's something along those lines. 
this is what we're looking at here. And I see, you see the stills right there in the screen. And I get that. But I'm telling you right now, I'm watching this as we speak. And I've seen this video now because I want to make sure I know what I'm looking at. This is about the 10th time that I looked at it. The footage shows him kicking and dragging her before eventually cornering her. He runs down, he snatches her bottom neck, he yanks her to the ground, she lays still, then he launches a kick towards her like he's kicking a damn field goal, picks up the vase or whatever she had with her, kicks her again, hits her, she lays still, and then after that, he grabs her and drags her down the hallway. And then there's additional video showing him sitting in the hotel room, picking up stuff, throwing it at her. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I cover sports. The incident reportedly occurred after Diddy became enraged during one of their altercations. Cassie's lawsuit detailed that the misconduct continued until she fled to the elevator. Despite the severity of this incident, Diddy allegedly paid the hotel $50,000 to suppress the footage. However, the video was later leaked, providing further corroboration to Cassie's legal claims. Because you know at those hotels, they have security personnel that watch that stuff. And if they didn't call the police, they should be in jail. I don't care what nobody say. You know, whoever watched that tape and didn't submit that to the authorities, they should be brought up on charges. Why do you think the video is barely coming out right now? Because you got a lot of people, you know, that's wondering why it took so long. First of all, they know that Puff probably paid the security personnel like, cause he knew it was on camera. A member of the hotel security staff intervened and Combs attempted to bribe the staff member with a stack of cash to make sure that what happened was kept quiet. And as the indictment alleges in late 2023, after public allegations were made about Combs' crimes, he and others pressured witnesses and victims to stay silent including by making phone calls to witnesses and victims and giving them a false narrative of what they had experienced. And as alleged, Combs used others to help conceal his abuse by monitoring and preventing victims from leaving a location in order to hide their injuries or by locating and contacting a victim who had attempted to flee. In November 2023, Cassie filed a lawsuit accusing Diddy of physical, emotional, and sexual misconduct during their decade-long relationship. Little snippets from the court documents and some other media takeout outlet and um, neighborhood talk outlet snippets. And I'm gonna put them at the end of this video so that you guys can take a look at it at your, on your own time and just like, read them like pause the screen and read them and read some of the statements that he that was alleged against diddy by cassie so child this was a doozy i did not expect to come and do this video so i wanted to just come on today and just talk to you guys let's chat a little bit about Diddy's behavior. The allegations are severe, including claims of coerced intimate acts and disturbing incidents like Diddy allegedly paying to suppress security footage, showing him physically attacking Cassie. And the signs that have been there for a while that nobody is willing to discuss. That problematic behavior that's been there for a while, like things that's been going on that you see throughout the years, um, his encounters, like a whole bunch of things. So let's get right into it. So initial, Cassie, as you could, all guys can see, you probably heard, she has filed a 35 page document suing Diddy for $30 million. $30 million, that's a lot of millions. That's a lot of money. And it's alleged, he's trying to say that she's been trying to extort him allegedly for years for that $30 million price tag. He offered her an eight figure price tag before she refused it. Um, but she has gone through a lot of things in the past 10 years that they've been, or the 10 years that they had been together. And this is a trigger warning for you guys who are very, very sensitive. I was kind of like shocked listening and reading like all of the things that he had done and said and 
put her through um and for some reason gosh i believe her um i believe her the, the signs were there nobody didn't want to pick up but i had already from the time i was young while the legal turmoil surrounding Diddy has amplified discussions of misconduct in his past relationships, Cassie's lawsuit, which has since been settled, revealed troubling incidents, including Diddy's private party's physical mistreatment and a culture of manipulation that allegedly involved both substance and misconduct. Diddy has been arrested in New York City after a grand jury indictment, and we have the breaking news. Though charges in the indictment are unknown, Billboard has confirmed the arrest. The rap mogul has been hit with at least eight civil lawsuits alleging sexual abuse over the past year. Now, according to TMZ, Diddy was taken into federal custody at the FBI's Manhattan field office. In a statement to Billboard, an attorney for Diddy said, We are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man. He is an imperfect person, but he is not a criminal. We'll keep you posted as the story develops. For everything we know, head to Billboard.com. Uh, they say this. For decades, uh, Sean Combs, the defendant, abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. To do so, Combs relied on the employees, resources, and influence of the multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other crimes, sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Gene Deal alleged that Diddy treated Cassie and Kim Porter the same way. That's Kim's story. That's Kim's book. That's Kim's book. Then you hear about the fact that he, he broke Kim's nose? On a yacht? Why wow, I didn't hear about that. He broke him. Uh, oh, let's let's say allegedly, but it was told by people in her camp that he broke Kim's nose on a yacht. So Cassie's story is Cassie's story is Kim's story. Cassie's book is Kim's book. He put her in a certain position, in a certain situation, in a certain time in her life. You understand what I'm saying? That she saw no way out other than doing what he told her to do. She had, he had mentally controlled her. He, he Stephen A. Smith has been very outspoken about the recently released footage of Diddy, describing it as worse than many infamous incidents of misconduct, including the Ray Rice elevator footage. Stephen A. declared that Diddy's career is over in the worst possible way, emphasizing the brutal nature of the misconduct and drawing parallels to Ray Rice's case, which also ended a prominent career. This video, allegedly, supposedly, presumably, seemingly, whatever word's appropriate, with P. Diddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs. This is worse. We saw those videos. We saw the video from Atlantic City with Ray Rice years ago. We saw that many times over. We saw the, col you know, the collateral impact it had on the NFL, the world of sports, and beyond because it heightened a level of sensitivity towards domestic violence and showed that level of awareness to such a degree that it permeates our thoughts and our minds, hearts to this day and age. In this day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is worse. I'm looking at the video again. This is worse. No wonder he settled the case with Cassie Ventura one day after she had filed a suit against him. One day. Smith described the video as horrifying and more disturbing than anything he has seen in his sports career, comparing it to the moment Ray Rice knocked his fiance unconscious in an elevator. Remember Ray Rice? Remember what happened? Like 2014 when his girl was in the elevator and she either shoved him or hit him and then he checked left hooked her and hit her and knocked her face into the bar inside the elevator. 
She hit her head to it, and then she laid on the floor, unconscious, in the elevator, straight up knocked out. And then after that, he didn't even pick her up, and he dragged her out of the elevator. Diddy has recently issued a public apology following the leak of a 2016 video. In his apology, Diddy expressed deep regret and acknowledged that his actions were inexcusable. Footage I'm going to show you. The first was going to be P. Diddy and his apology. Take a look. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. He stated that he takes full responsibility for his behavior and has since sought professional help to address his issues. Diddy emphasized his commitment to personal growth and becoming a better person. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. Cassie's lawyer responded to Diddy's apology, describing it as disingenuous and self-serving. The lawyer argued that the apology seemed more focused on Diddy's image rather than genuinely addressing the harm caused to Cassie and others. Before I even give you my opinion, I've got an obligation to let you know we have yet to hear from Cassie, but one of her lawyers released a statement on Sunday following Diddy's apology. Here's what she had to say. Combs' most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. When Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday, that he was only compelled to quote unquote apologize once his repeated denials were proven false, shows his pathetic desperation, and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words, end quote. Before Diddy's December 2023 apology, he had repeatedly denied the allegations against him when Cassie and other women filed lawsuits accusing him of physical, emotional, and sexual misconduct. Diddy released a statement on Instagram broadly rejecting the claims, stating, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. Of 2023, just a few months ago, and this was a month after Cassie had filed her lawsuit, which is where I was going. This is Diddy's statement, quote, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Stephen A. Smith was highly critical of Diddy after he deleted his apology video regarding the mistreatment towards Cassie. Smith called the move foolish, suggesting that if Diddy had deleted everything else on his Instagram, that apology was the one thing he should have kept. Because I want to know first and foremost who the hell was the PR person, or the advisor, or somebody who was dumb enough to tell him to do that bullshit video. It's just dumb. He said he believes that everyone should have a second chance except P. Diddy. I'm good with second chances. The problem is that doesn't apply here with Sean P. Diddy comes. Because you see the second chance is if you had come out immediately acknowledging that you were wrong once the accusations were first levied against you. Instead of excoriating those who were throwing the allegations out against you like Cassie Ventura. What do you all think about Mays confirming Cassie's shocking claims about Diddy? Could this be the beginning of more dark secrets coming to light? Drop your thoughts in the comments.